Buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Mauro López. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mauro López, and this is the first time I have ever been outside of Nicaragua, and I'm so happy to be here. When I was seven years old, I was one of the first three students chosen to be in Henningen Pathway to Change program. I'm now 14 years old, and I'm here this morning to tell you what it has meant to me and the influence he had on my life. Henningen offers students an opportunity for a good education at a good school where the teachers are well trained and we have all the books we need and can play a sport and participate in other activities. The program has been like my second family. Every kid in the program is important and I always felt that. I often think about how my life would be different if I had never been selected for the program. I would have grown up with different values and manners. I don't think I would have been safe for the bad influences I see around me in my neighborhood and in the school some of my, some of my friends go to. Stealing, misleading others, gang fights, and violent behavior are common. When I came into the program, I had to change a lot. I was a good student, but I have no discipline. I had bad manners, and I was really not much fun to be around. That began to change after I was into the program. I felt guided and supported. For the first time in my life, someone asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I replied that I want to be a translator. And I still have that goal today. In my house, in Los Martinez, we are nine people. My mom, my grandma, my aunt, my sister, my four brothers, and me. When it rains, the water comes in and we have to use bucket to keep the house dry. There are gangs in my neighborhood who have guns and machetes. We don't go out at night, but we are still afraid because a bullet could easily come to our house. This is the neighborhood where I live, but it's not the kind of life I want to have. I'm thankful every day for the opportunity I've been given. Some of my friends from preschool have not been so blessed. Domingo and Isaac do drugs. Domingo smokes pot, does cocaine, and a steal. Isaac started sniffing glue when he was eight years old. Many mornings, Juan and Isaias sift through garbage a dip of chicken looking for their breakfast. Some of their mothers tried to send them to the school but they don't go. They stay in the street and get into trouble. Every year, there are groups who come to Nicaragua with hand in hand. They come to build houses with people in need. Last March, Mr. Red invited me to come and build a house with Miguel and his family. I remember how happy I felt that day to work with them because they are really good people who don't look down on you, no matter how poor you are. I have felt looked down upon by rich Nicaraguan people before, and I don't like that. The people who come from Henny Hen like everyone, and I want to be like them. In my school, because it's a private school, I sometimes feel that students who have more money don't want to socialize with me. But I'm cool with that. I don't feel envious. I just say to myself, one day I will have more money than them. <laughs> Henny Hen has taught me that I have choices. Choices I make every day, and choices for the future. When I grow up, I want to have my own family. I want to be a good dad. I don't want my kid to be disappointing me. I want to be respected, hardworking, and fun. I want to be a good example to my kids and to my community. 
Gracias a todos ustedes y al Ministerio Mano a Mano por hacer todo esto posible. Sex to all of you and hand in hand for making all this possible.